Okay, checky, check, check, one, two. So this is multi-purpose. First of all, I'm testing, recording with some software here on a different computer, Linux. So I'm testing that out. I'm also staying out of the outdoors. There is a severe weather alert. They sent out the thing on the text messages. Get the fuck off the roads, you idiots, because there's a blizzard outside. It's negative 10. The snow at times is going horizontal. And that's why I'm not going outside today. I am going to stay inside and potentially yell at the internet. We'll see. We're going to do Twitter. I have no idea what's coming. Guys, so I come up, I see this. I'm like, is this real? Is this real? CollectTrumpCards.com. I come over here. Is this, is this real? Limited edition digital trading cards, only $99. Listen, you conservatives. Once again, yes, I voted for Donald Trump. Yes, he was very entertaining. Yes, it was hilarious when he would shit all over these reporters, okay? This, this. Here's, you know, this makes me feel less stupid for spending money on computer games. I, these are just like baseball cards, but you collect them digitally on your computer or phone. All you need, guys, all you need, all you need is an email address and a credit card. I mean, this sounds like an email you get from some guy. He's like, I'm in Nigeria and I can't get my money and I need to transfer it to your bank account. And yeah, I mean, this is, this sounds like a Nigerian scam. Right wing, this fucking God almighty. Right wingers are falling for this shit. My Trump and Fura. So, I mean, here's the card. What? Like, where's the QAnon card? They're sold out. They're sold out. They're sold out. Really? By 45 digits. You, you guarantee, you're guaranteed a ticket to attend the gala dinner with Trump. I mean, Jesus Christ. Oh, this is painful. This is fucking painful. You know, there's a reason why the right has lost the culture war. Speaking of that, also got up early this morning, got my ass out of bed at 0430, made some coffee and listened to another chapter of Mein Kampf. And once again, man, there are reasons why nobody wants you to read this book. Hitler, he nails it in uh, so many ways. Oh my God. It's, what can I, what can I say, man? It's anyway, we're not going to talk about that. Let's do Twitter. Let's just do Twitter. I couldn't believe. Uh, here we go. Was this today? 1220. This is a, why, why are you wearing a muzzle? What's going on? Here he is without a muzzle. There he is with a muzzle. Sure, whatever, guys. So women only get less attractive as they get older if you're a pedophile. Many of you lack basic reading comprehension skills. That or you feel attacked, which I'm going to need you to take up with God, not me. Well, sweetheart, last time I checked, God made women to be subservient to men. God made women to be obedient to men. If that hurts your feelings, well, you're going to have to take that up with God, not me. Here's a question. If women only get less attractive as they get older, if you're a pedophile, does that mean men only get less attractive as you get older if you're a pedophile? So when some 22-year-old girl doesn't want to date a 70-year-old man, is she a pedophile? I would say this. Not only do women get less attractive as they get older, which is a biological fact, women also get less attractive as they get closer. As I have said for years, the farther away women are, the more attractive they are. And Twitter has allowed women to be constantly right up in our faces all the fucking time. All right, let me scroll up here. So what I'm doing here on the other, I got my, my, what do you call these? My notifications from Twitter. The Twatterverse sends me these notifications of, 
What's going on? Oh my, okay, hold on. Let's look at this. And I, I haven't looked at any of this shit, so we are just free-balling it here. Here he is. Here's Cobra Tate. Oh my God. We are winning. The agents of the Matrix are being discredited. I mean, you can read this for yourself. It's on the screen. If you're not, if you're tuning into the audio version only, I'm not going to read everything to you. Andrew, Cobra, we who is winning? What do you mean you're winning? What what have you won? What what? Who are you even representing here? Are you representing the Manosphere, which is now nothing but a bunch of people who go to work every day making videos where they say the same thing over and over? I mean, it's literally Hitler, the Manosphere. Yeah, I know I'm on this kick right now. I got it, okay? I can't get off of it, right? I thought about this this morning while I was cleaning more records and listening to podcasts. Oh my God, I'm so, I'm so close to being finished with my albums. But then I got my 45s, but I don't have a lot of 45s, but I'm working. Anyway... You know how when you have your standard cubicle job, you just every day you go and you sit in your cubicle and you have to sit in the cubicle for eight hours, right? You can't work from home. You got to even the Wuhan hoax and social and muzzle, but you can't work from home. You got to be in the cubicle because if you're not at work, well, how will anybody know that you're doing your job? So you go and you sit in your cubicle for eight hours a day and you just do the same thing over and over and kind of repetitively just doing stuff, half of which doesn't benefit the cosmos in any way whatsoever. You're just going through the motions in order to get paid. That's the manosphere. Tune into any of these manosphere YouTube channels. That's what they're doing. And once again, for the st- I'm not saying I hate these people. Not saying they're wrong. I'm simply saying, Rolo Tomasi, the jo- Joker, I call it the Joker. The Joker is different. He's the guy that fights Batman. Joker, you know, fresh and fit. They're just, they get up and they go to their cubicle. Their cubicle just happens to be on YouTube. And they sit in their cubicle and they say, Hey guys, did you know that girls are poopy heads? No fucking shit. I don't know what you guys are seeing on the recording. My screensaver just kicked in. So you guys might be seeing pictures from Star Wars, The Old Republic, which I played this morning before doing this. Anyhow, that that's they're just going to work. And I have a job, okay? I go to theater, I hang the lights, I point them at the stage, I focus them. Nobody wants to watch me do that. And I don't want to watch them doing their jobs. It's just, so I I don't know what Cobra's talking about. You haven't won anything. What do we got over here? Oh, okay. Let's see what this is. Let's hit on this. Let's hit on this. How does it? Uh, sure. Let's hit on this. Oh, let's hit on this. I want to see. So I heard that Black Adam, which I was kind of looking forward to. I thought maybe this is going to be a good movie, but uh, maybe not. All right. Well, I want to give you all the Black Adam future. Black Adam will not be. Took 15 years to make this movie. All right, so yeah, so in other words, uh, Black Adam failed and they're not going to make any more. How does this make me feel? This makes me feel like white people need a place of their own on the earth. Just, you know, oh, hello. Or I, I, I don't know, I could just be somewhere with her. I mean, I give her a... 
See, I'm just I'm just not into the big tits in general. Like the big tits don't do that much for me. But she's got a cute face. I could get I could give her a seven. I could totally give her a seven easily. What do you guys think? What, what how do you rate this babe? Can I say can I yeah, hang on. Hmm. Who is this stupid chick? This is just some chick. No gum road course, no paid sub stack. No, yeah. So anyway, she's just attention whoring, but she's not even smart enough to attention whore for money. Girls, okay, girls, girls, if you're going to get on the internet and attention whore, at least attention whore for money. Come on. Get some money out of it. Do, do something with it. Don't attention whore for free. God damn, the only thing dumber than a woman attention whoring on the internet is a woman attention whoring on the internet for free. The hell is wrong with you? What, what is this shit? Is this her feed or what's all this other stuff? Oh, she's retweeting other things. I've forgotten how Twitter works. This is pretty funny. Wait, who's this chick? She looks kind of cute. I like that. Um, I, I might be dense. I don't even really get it. And I'm not, whoa, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I'm in. <laughs> I'd like to be in literally. All right. What's this shit? I don't realize about it either or not. Come on, twatter. The principal conservative. What? Uh, I already don't care. I don't know where that's going. Stanford University's list of harmful language wants to eliminate includes the word American. See, Daily Mail. Okay, is the Daily Mail real? Can I believe anything that's on the Daily Mail? I'm still not convinced the Daily Mail is a real website and it doesn't even load. What's going on here? Let's try that one more time. All right. Done. Moving on. Short attention span today. Yep. And should I should I follow Tasteful Lily on the interwebs on the Twitter verses? Should I follow her? She has an Insta Thought account. Hang on, let's look at her Insta Thought. Sweetheart, if you're you, attention whore for money, come on. Where's the OnlyFans link? Female aesthetics. All right. Uh, sure. I need a little fluff in my fucking Twitter feed. Let me hang on to those. All right. What do we got going on over here? Let's get some more. Oh, oh, the most important data set. Uh, okay, sure. Yeah, uh-huh. Right. Most important. All right. What do we got here? Oh, we're performing maintenance. Most important. <laughs> Wait. All right. So in other words, uh, a whole bunch more people are dying since the Wuhan vax came out. All right. I don't know if this is true or not. I, I can't even find the source because the website that claims to be the source isn't working. Good job, right-wingers. Go, right-wingers, go. Go, right-wingers, go. Something went wrong. Of course it did. Government paid Twitter millions of dollars to censor. Oh, you mean Twitter had to get paid to censor people. They couldn't just do that on their own? All right, sure. Well, Elon, it's it's supposedly your company now. Why don't you handle that? All right, what do we got here? Oh, this looks like clickbait.
Here's a TikTok. All right, I want to I want to see this. So, 50 years of people's hopes and dreams being stolen. Okay, where's the hopes and dreams being stolen? What? Oh, they're in the pool picking out coins. Well, I mean, it's just a form of public welfare, right? What's the big deal? Okay. Do, do I even, I, do I even? There are a lot of human beings who are girls who transcend what their gender is supposed to be. Transcend to what their gender strength from is supposed to be. From. Absolutely. What you inspire oh, me. Absolutely. Uh, the way that you inspire me, one of the ways, uh -huh. is that girlhood is this ultimate experience. All right, let's day 80 of being a girl. <laughs> yes. And I'm with my all time role model. This is the person that made you're me. You're my role model. No, 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 no. You're my role model. No, 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 no. You no. inspired me to start. Yeah, yeah, those are women. Those are absolutely, those are women. They may have penises, but those are definitely women. They are not feminine, they are not female. They are definitely women. Making content. And okay. so accept that. Yes. Okay. I accept it. This is Jeffrey Marsh. Will you accept that you're an inspiration? And I love you very much. Fine. Thank you. I, I love okay. you very much. My uh, God, I'm gonna I'm gonna vomit. And not even because it's two men pretending they're women. <laughs> if I saw I, if I saw women, if I saw actual real female women as opposed to this. If I saw real female women having that conversation, I would want to vomit. For you, my signature, I saw little that. sunglasses. Hi. Oh God. Hi. <laughs> this is Jeff. What are your pronouns? They them. Okay, I'm she they, and she they. I'm she they. She they. So Cobra Tate thinks that he's won winning. Cobra Tate thinks he's winning. I don't know what the fuck he's winning. I mean, I do know that he has sucked Anthony Dream Johnson's dick on YouTube. I don't know what Cobra Tate thinks that he's winning. This is Western civilization. This is white people. As a non-binary human, do you have any relationship to the concept of girlhood? I absolutely do. I find girlhood to be inspiring. There are a lot of human beings who are girls who transcend what their gender is supposed to be. Yes. Transcend. And that to me is something I draw strength from and excitement from. Absolutely. I mean, what look at look at their to... look at their facial expressions. If you can look at it without, you know, getting nauseous. I hope you have a trash can or something nearby to vomit in. I mean, it's so. And what this exactly reminds me of is actors doing like vaudeville comedy. In case you're new around here, whatever, I do theater. I've worked with actors for years. I've seen a shit ton of plays. I've acted. Like, this is how you do over-the-top acting in a Commedia dell'arte production or a vaudeville production. They're just, it's, 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 it's acting, it's attention whoring. It's mental illness. It's all of those things wrapped up into one. I'm sure there's some great German word that sums this all up. I really need to know what that word is. Anybody out there speak German? Is there a German word for, for over-the-top acting, a, a combination of over-the-top acting, virtue signaling, and attention whoring? Uh, the way that you inspire me, one of the ways, is that girlhood is this ultimate expression of humanity. It's so much more than gender. Yeah. It's the and ultimate, the ultimate expression of humanity is girlhood. It's not walking on the moon or curing cancer or raising your children. It's girlhood. What I would love is for there to be a place 
for specifically for non-binary people too. Oh God, I'd love there to be a place specifically for non-binary people. But if I tried to create it, I would be called a white supremacist. You fucking stupid fucking goddamn fucking freak of nature. This is why you need to be exterminated. I'd love for you to have a place just for fucking mentally ill people. I'd fucking finance it myself. I have a fucking American Express card. You fucking piece of shit. I think we can't forget that non-binary people do have that divine feminine energy and they deserve to be a part of girlhood too. No, they deserve to be at the bottom of the ocean. Stronger when there's more of us behind, behind it. Only certain people are allowed in, but who's allowing? That's the real question. Who is? You know? I I don't. Maybe there isn't one, and maybe that's <laughs> maybe the beautiful part one. of it. <laughs> you know, like, this is the longest video ever. Uh, how long have your pronouns been? This is the longest video ever. Obviously. This guy hasn't watched any videos over in the manosphere where they go on for three and a half hours about, hey, did you know hypergamy? What? You mean, wait, you mean women like men with lots of money? Holy shit. Let's do an in-depth exploration of how women like to marry up. They, them. How long have you sort of... I came out as they, them in 2013. Oh, God. It has been a long time. And have you seen a distinct shift in society since? Absolutely. Yep. In a positive way. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Because like Cobra Tate said, we're winning. That's we're, we're winning. There's been a quieting of the whole argument. It's not grammatically correct. Like, that's basically quieted down quite a lot. Yes. But also, I love this newer revolution because of the pandemic, because of the last couple of years, of she, they, he, they, feels good. And combining they with other pronouns, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. And I hope this is combining th this is combining they with other pronouns. Oh my goodness, we've we've accomplished so much. I, I, guy, I'm serious. This is what I'm about to say is not even a joke. This just makes me want to go into the other room, turn on the computer, and fucking play Star Wars. Because the only way to win is to kill these people. And I can't kill them because other fucking white people will show up and stop me from killing them. Like, it's over. There's, there's literally almost, almost nothing to live for. The fact that... You know, once again, we go back to. No, it's not, God damn it. Never mind. I didn't want to go down that path. It's the start of a lifelong friendship. What do you think, people? Uh, <laughs> I love girls can't don't have friends, and girls sure as hell can't be friends with each other because women hate other women. And while you two are not females and you're not girls, you're definitely women. You all. Okay. Oh, oh we got to do my signature. Okay. I mean, look at, look at, look at their face. Look at this. Sorry. Love ya. I could, I couldn't help it. That is sick. All right. Let's see. CDC fault throw. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Whatever. We're going to really throw him under the, the bus. Of this I'm virus sure. Is not let's, let's find out. I, I, I stand with my hypothesis that. The nature of this virus is not consistent with uh, spillover evolution, that this virus well, clearly duh. had to be adapted for human-to-human -human transmission. And I do believe that that occurred in the laboratory. And uh, ultimately, I think the evidence points to the Wuhan La Institute of Virology as the primary source of this virus. I, I stand with my <laughs> well, hypothesis. Duh. Wow, we're really behind the curve, but we're going to act like we've figured something out here. All right, what else do we got? Ah, Frank Servi. Don't 
don't care about any of that. All right. Yeah, I mean, d- don't don't forget, guys. They they want Wuhan amnesty. There will be no amnesty. College girls, men need to have more money than us. I would never date a brokey. Also, college girls, why do men earn more money than women? It's not fair. It's totally true. It's it's absolutely true. Hey, here's TJ, TJ Martinell. Society, we need more women in college. Years later, when women are 60% of college students, also society. Why do women have more college debt than men? And these guys are right. They're both right. They're so fucking right. <sighs> am, I, am I following? I am following TJ, and I should be following. Yep, okay. Oh, God, they're fucking... All right, what do we got over here? Uh, Yeah, making fun of fat women, we got that. Oh, God. What's this shit? Here's Cobra Tate sucking up to some woman. Was like huge and Andrew Tate retweeting the video was like huge and I can't thank him enough thank you Andrew if you ever want to do an interview together I know I'm a nobody but maybe one day Andrew oh Andrew retweeted her her video oh Cobra you're the tweet oh It's because I'm trying to debate if I want to say anything about this. Yeah, you know I'm, I'm gonna let this one. It's, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. It's gonna slide for now. Uh, okay, let's click on that. What we got here, and nothing interesting there. La 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 la. Let's click on that. I'm going to click on that. Oh, let's click on that because you know. All right, let's click on that. That's Wuhan related. What do we got here? Yeah, well, yeah, because remember, Wuhan doesn't spread if you're protesting. If you're protesting for a anti-white cause, let's put it that way. All right, let's see what this stupid horror has got to say. From polling locations, but just being brought. You've got an expert witness saying that the machine, the an expert who has uh, certified these machines for the last nine years, saying that they're lawful to use and that they're in good working condition, saying that the error that occurred on election day, because we saw how many Republicans were disenfranchised because over half the machines broke on election day. What? That error was intentional. You have a whistleblower from Runback, the ballot company, that says over 300, or excuse me, approximately 300,000 ballots were illegally asserted, inserted into the tally, not coming from drop boxes, not coming from polling locations, but just being brought in by employees, not within the law yeah. chain of custody. I mean, there's so... Okay, but, but what are you going to do about it? You, right-wingers, conservatives. What are you going to do about it? You guys you guys are buying fucking $99 digital trading cards of Donald Trump dressed up like Superman waiting for QAnon to come wipe your ass for you. What are you going to do about it? 
My election fraud. I'm tired of hearing about my election fraud. Until you follow, find the balls to do something, shut up. Well, but you know, we just need one more piece of evidence and then we'll get our guns. What is this? I do not try to, let's see. It's propagating a radical paradigm shift that he rejects church condemnation of contraception. So what, everybody can bang now all they want? Okay, what, I, yeah, I don't get it. I will give away $100,000 tonight. Oh, that's some serious. So, Cobra, 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 you have it backwards. You're supposed to attention whore to get money from other people. You're not supposed to attention whore and give money away. Oh, oh, things just got, oh, gay guys, things just got really bad. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I don't know what that is. Let's find out. Oh, the, I don't care. Things got bad. She's toast. Maxine Waters caught red-handed funneling over... Wait, red-handed? Is that like a, a racial slur against Native Americans? Red-handed funneling over 1.2 million cuck bucks. What did she do? Uh, 1.2 million cuck bucks over the last... It's all been legal. Okay. Well, if it's all legal, then what's... What's, what did you, what do you mean she's caught? What, th- here you go. Here's, here's, it's this conservativebrief.com. This is your conservatives, guys. California Democrat Representative Maxine Waters has paid her daughter over $1 million in the last decade, $1.2 million in the last decade, and it's all been legal. We caught her, guys. We caught her doing something legal. You conservatives can't even do anything with all the illegal stuff you have about the last presidential election. But you caught Maxine Waters doing something legal. And now you think it's over. It, it just got very bad for her. She's doing something legal. I know, I know a black woman doing something legal is very out of the ordinary. Doesn't happen very often. But once again, conservatives, there's something wrong. I don't know who's more fucked up in the head. These two men who are pretending to be women that we watched a few minutes ago or conservatives. You check, make sure I'm still recording. I am recording. And this is kind of why I'm not on Twitter. I mean, this over here, this is why I sh- could be on Twitter. I mean, this this is an incentive to be on Twitter. This should, this should, well, this is not. What's this? Why is, why am I getting so much Cobra Tate? Oh, here's Rolo making fun of Cappy. We definitely got to look at that. Oh, here's Frank. All right, let's see what Frank's got. Oh, here's here's more TikToks. Let's check that out. Okay, this is a good one. Uh, Andrew Tate, marriage counseling doesn't work. The second, that's the only option, leave. Women don't respect men who can't fix problems. Sitting and whining to some old, frail idiot to fix the problems of the relationship will only make her respect you less. Now, this is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. I will make fun of Cobra Tate all day long for attention whoring, 
for attention whoring and for attention whoring. I will make it all day long. But as I keep saying, it doesn't mean he's wrong. As I said about the whole manosphere, I'm going to make fun of the manosphere for the rest of my fucking life. I'm going to be 87 years old. I'm going to go, yeah, Rolo Tomasi, he's only he's still making three-hour videos about hypergamy. I'm going to make fun of them for the rest of my fucking life. This doesn't mean they're wrong. Everything Cobra says in this tweet, 100% correct. If you can't fix the problems of your marriage, your bitch is not going to respect you. Yeah, sitting and whining to some old, frail idiot to fix your relationship, she's not going to respect you after that. This is 100% fucking true. Cobra Tate still sucked Andrew, uh, what's his name, Dream Johnson's dick on the internet. He still did that, but he's not fucking wrong. He ain't wrong, goddammit. All right, let's look. There's some fucking TikTok whore. Let's see what happens here. Hello, hello, and welcome to a day in the life. Today, I'm joining a friend to get the life sucked out of her. Starting my day with a long run because she can't be the only one down a few pounds today. This is the second time I've joined a friend for one of these, so I'm getting good reps in. For breakfast, I'm having scrambled eggs to celebrate the scrambling of hers. Then we head out to meet Sam. Look at all those numbers. It reminds me of all the ages her child won't see. Teaching your kid how to ride a bike has to be one of the most beautiful moments a parent can have. Not today, though getting Sam a small breakfast before her procedure. She's eating for two, but not for long. And now we're walking down. I feel like I'm in the movie Juno if they decided it should have been a short film. Stopping off at the library because she'll be gone for about three hours. Ah, my favorite. What to expect when you're no longer expecting by termination and empty womb. And we've arrived in the waiting room, or as I like to call it, the sleigh lounge. I think this might be satire, but I'm not 100% sure. I can't tell anymore. Sending her on her way because duty calls. And just like that, she's done. She looks like she could fly, although that might just be the wings of her angel baby. Now we're getting some ice cream and there's three spoons. One for me, one for Sam, and one for sweet, sweet Archibald. I, I, th- I think that was satire. That was pretty funny. The one on the right, she's, she's kind of cute. I'd, I'd bang her. I mean, I'd take her home. The one on the, you guys can have the one on the left. She just doesn't quite do it. The one on the... I'd, yeah, I'd take her. All right, moving on. And that doesn't exist, so that got taken down. All right, moving on. Oh, my God. Hang on, hang on. Hang, this is going to be funny. What the f- hell is that? Yeah, okay, let's click on that. She went from soft and natural to high. Yeah, I mean, yes, women are being turned into men. They're, yes. We're, yes. Oh, oh my God, the following media includes potentially sensitive content. Hey, everybody, warning, trigger warning. There's potentially sensitive content coming up. It's a picture of a... Okay, I don't know what's going on there. Lauren Southern, talking about the Trump trading cards, says embarrassing. Lauren Southern who has a baby with a black person and attention whores on the internet thinks that something Donald Trump has done is embarrassing. Lauren Southern is retweeting Mike Chernovic and she thinks Donald Trump is embarrassing. Women should not be allowed out of the house. (laughs) 
Christian teacher jailed after refusing to use gender-neutral pronouns is told he will remain in behind, bars, behind bars for Christmas after telling, um, we all going to make sacrifices, guys. You, If you want to be a man, yeah, you're going to have to make sacrifices. Let's see what this. Uh, Zoomers. Stoned out Zoomers ask questions like this. Yo, I might be in Miami over Christmas break around New Year's for a couple of days. Would you mind hosting my friend and I at your crib for a couple of days? I'll bring booze and shit. Um, yeah, that's, that's Zoomer talk. Uh, eight hot moms leave home for the chance to find love with men half their age. MILF Manor. TLC Network. Okay, once again, I, is this, this could be real. This could be real. Can I see this video or is it just going to choke? Yeah, anyway, so Rolo commented on this. Switch the genders and this show becomes sex trafficking slash tourism that ruins men's careers. So why do these why do these eight hot moms wait eight hot moms are leaving home with the chance to find love with men half their age okay so they're hot moms so they're leaving home to find love with a man does this mean they're cheating on their husband or does this mean they don't have a husband so here's your single mothers To find love with a man half their age, if a man is attracted to a woman half his age, see, he's a pedophile because he doesn't understand that if you are attracted to women who are young and not old ones, you're a pedophile. But women, see, it's okay. It's okay. Once again, Rolo's not wrong. It's just how many times do we need to hear this? Well, great one. You're saying it right now. Okay, you're, you're right. You're right. Healthcare is a captured industry. No shit, we've just figured that out. Holy fuck, you people are so goddamn far behind the curve. Oh, Andrew Tate, bro, you told your son to get vaxxed to play baseball. It's amazing how every single vax and mask cuck is now a tough guy. Yeah, whatever's. All right, what do we got here? Oh, here's a here's a women loving the roller coaster of emotions. What do we got over here? Oh, it's potentially sensitive, guy. Brace yourselves. Let's look at this sensitive. Went on a date list from some. Oh, it's a black woman, of course. Went on a date last night, and dude's very nice car was broken into which led to him placing his gun on my lap and us going after him. Y'all, I am 0-8 for the year. Did I mention I cut myself on the glass from the window being smashed and got blood all over his car and my pants? Okay, so you're dating some guy in the hood. I should say the date was great up until this point. At the end of the night, I honestly felt so bad about his car, but I'm fine. He's fine, and I actually think I would go out with him again. That was just such a wild way to end a first date. On a brighter note, I looked great the whole time. She, she got plenty of selfies of herself, because that's women, because they got to get the selfies of themselves. They got to get it. You know, speaking of that, let me tangent for a minute. Here, hang on. While I'm tangenting, can I, where is it? Uh, open image in new tab. 
Oh, there we go. So while I'm tangenting, let's put that up while I'm tangenting so we have something nice to look at for those of you who are watching the video. I talked about the Black Mirror episode, season one, episode three, that I said that you should watch for your homework. And as I often do, God damn it, it's dropping snow out there. I did not articulate myself quite fully. Let me say, here's the thing. Here's why I think that episode was fascinating to me. Our memories, for most of us anyhow, other than those people who have those, you know, memories where they actually do retain every detail and all this other stuff. And I wonder, I wonder if people who have like photogenic memories, because I, I don't think, I've never talked to one in real life to find out like, is it just something they read or see or like, is it everything? Like, can they replay an interaction with a person? in their head, like in complete, perfect detail. But anyhow, as we go through life, things happen to us, right? Like, for example, I'll, I go up to a girl and I ask her if she wants to go out and she shoots me down. Okay, so I'm kind of bummed out about it when it happens, right? And as time goes by, I remember, okay, there was this girl who, yeah, I, well, like the Jeep girl. I told you guys about this a long time ago. The hot chick. We're on the street. She is driving a Jeep. I went over. I talked to her briefly. Asked her out. She like just was rude. Not she was she tone of voice, very nasty tone of voice. Shot me down. Okay, so it's like, uh, well, that kind of sucked, and I still remember that it happened. Okay, but I don't like remember every tiny detail and nuance of her facial expression and every nuance of the tone of her voice and every nuance of her body language. And so even if I wanted to sit here and ruminate on that over and over, which I'm, I, everybody does it to an extent, right? I kind of ruminate on things. Like if I fuck something up, I'll run over it and over it in my brain and kind of beat it to death. And it has a negative effect on my psyche, right? But eventually it goes away because mercifully for us as humans, we do forget the details of our mistakes. Because if we didn't, we probably would sit there and just rehearse this mistake over and over and over in our brains in you know, intimate, perfect detail over and over. And we would literally, Hitler, go insane. We'd be like these two fucking men pretending to be women on the internet. And so it is our imperfect memory that allows us to move on past our mistakes, or at least that's part of it. I'm going to say that's the only thing. There are other aspects that let us move on past our mistakes, but I think that's a chunk of it, is that our memory is imperfect, helps. And this episode, I th once again, I think very well shows what would be the consequences of having that perfect memory. And I also think that this episode is an analogy, if analogy is the right word, to the cell phone, because the cell phone, especially the smartphone, with the selfies and all this other shit, the smartphone has completely disrupted the mental health of people who you, you know, excessively use it. We have to define what is excessively, you know, that's a discussion to be had, what is excessive use of a cell phone. I would say that excessive use of a cell phone is virtually every woman, every white woman in North America, right? But the cell phone has done that. And that's why I think you should watch that. Okay, let's jump back over here. My screensaver just kicked in again. It will be interesting to see if the screensaver shows up in these or not. What is this? Oh, see, here's another, here's another right winger. Oh, this might be funny. <laughs> ah, all right. All right, Let, let's find out what this is. See, once again, this is, 
this is this is my conservatives. Cring cringe. Cringe Jean Pierre utterly implodes last remaining shreds of her career in 45 seconds. The most brutal moment ever in a press briefing. This is according to some conservative. I, let's see this most brutal moment ever. Now, this is who is Benny? Who's Benny Johnson? Benny Johnson, God, Family America. The Benny Show. Oh, so he's an attention whore on the internet who, when, when the government goes too far, he's going to get his guns, and there's all this evidence of election fraud, but gosh, Benny just can't get off his ass long enough to do anything about it. Instead, he's going to post fucking 50-second videos of black women running their mouth talking about how this is the most brutal moment in a press briefing ever. Let's find out. Thank you. Uh, does President Biden support or oppose legislation legislation that has stolen Congress to create a 9-11 style commission to investigate the U.S. response to the COVID pandemic. What is the White House position on, on this? So I think this has been asked before. I think. What is the position? Uh, you're, you're not going to get an answer on this. During uh, Jen's tenure, I don't have anything uh, more to add or more to uh, look into on this. I would have to go back to the team and see if our position has changed, uh, but nothing well, new for you. What was the position? No, I'm just saying I, I know that this has come up. I just don't have anything else, uh, new to add uh, or to go what, back and ask. Okay, but the question is, what was the – I didn't ask you if you have any – sweetheart, let's be brutally honest for a moment. For a moment. You're black and you're a woman. We know you don't have anything to add other than adding to the population in the ghetto. Oh, my God, that was racist, and it's racist because it's true. He's not asking you if you have anything to add. Speaking as a white man, I don't care if you have anything to add. I'm not interested in anything you could possibly add. He's asking you, do you know what the answer was by the previous person? We are on that. So whether you, but does the administration support it or oppose I, it? Or? I just, I just answered your question. You I didn't said, answer I the question, you stupid past, whore. But this is why. Once again, this is why women shouldn't exactly have jobs. Okay, she didn't. Question. But see, here's the thing: she yeah, didn't implode. You, uh, does President Biden she didn't, she didn't shred or her career. What is with you, fucking conservatives? And you're. Over the top, everything. QAnon is going to save us. Here's some Donald Trump trading cards. Yo, her, she shredded her career. Benny, you fucking faggot. This woman answered a question the way questions are answered in press briefings 365 fucking days a year across the United States. She did not shred her career. You, you, you're so fucking delusional. You right wingers, your heads are so far up your asses into this fucking fantasy land where Donald Trump is coming back in 2024 to save you. You're a bunch of fucking morons. That picture is uninteresting to me in so many ways. All right, what do we got? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let me click on this. Uh, let me click on this. I don't know what this is, but it's something about men. Let's find. Let's find out what. Oh, it doesn't exist anymore. Hey, wait. Where'd that go? Let's try this again. All right, that doesn't exist anymore. Where's this? Stories from the wall. That's another black woman. Why is it mentioned all black women on Twitter? Just can't find any men. Three years ago, I went to church and said, blah blah blah. Three years ago, I went to the Churchill Show. I don't know what that is. Next to me sat a very calm, bearded, tall, nice-smelling guy. A small chit-chat here and there and finally asked for my phone number. 
After some days, he invited me for a lunch date, in which I which I turned down. He finally gave up since I was playing really hard to get. Since I was really playing hard to get. L O L. Guess he got fed up and deleted my number or something. At some point, I lost his contacts too. But I do have a strong feeling that man was the love of my life. He was exactly my type, that one. So my question is, why do men give up so quick? Why, why, pray to, Kai, why do men give up so quick? I don't know. Maybe because you're not worth it. Maybe because there's 3.5 billion women on earth and 3.5 billion of them aren't worth it. And I can invest more, you know, some time in you, but after I hit about 10 minutes, I can go invest some time in some other woman. Why do men give up so quick? Because you're not worth it, sweetheart. You're not worth it. Let's, uh, let's get that out here so we have something to look at. All right. So I'm looking for material. Looking for material here. I'm looking, going through the emails. I do not want to see that. Okay. So really, Tasteful Lindy is doing the how do you open shtick. You know, Dick Masterson talked about this. And he put, he's like, this doesn't happen. You don't go into a restaurant. You don't see this chick sitting there waiting for you to talk to you. Like, how do you open? Well, you don't. She's out there with a friend. If you walk up to the table and try to talk, how are you going to walk up and talk? You're going to be creepy. You're going, ew, he's trying to talk to me. It's creepy. Right? I mean, the woman in this picture is probably a raging fucking leftist. She has three fur babies. And men are going to give up really fast. Because, yes, a lot of guys are going to see those titties hanging down in that cleavage. See, that's way more tit than I want. I mean, she's not unattractive, but I would not approach this woman. I wouldn't. Like, how, how do you open? You don't. Shut up, whore. Oh, okay. Let's do this one. Let's hit that. What is this shit? Money does. Uh, let's, all right, let's hit that. I'm not even looking at the screen that you guys are looking at right now, so you're seeing stuff before I see it. Okay, let's see what the plot twist is. No, I'm still here. I'm still alive. Let's click on that. That is a waste because it's women. Everything involving women is a waste. All right. What a waste. 
Um, I mean, they're they're semi attractive. Yeah, it's two broads covered in tattoos. Yeah, women are trying to be men. Oh no, that was gonna be something good. Oh, that was deleted. Okay, my ex was a great man, but a horrible boyfriend. It's another black woman. What what is it with these black? Well, like white women don't complain on Twitter. There, let's let's be all right. Never never mind. That was going to just be a racist comment. It's not just black women complaining about men on Twitter. It's women complaining about men everywhere. All women complaining about men in every possible forum. My ex was a great man, but a horrible boyfriend. That's how I knew I was different. This nigga never told me no. In I still left. Bills was paid in advance, flew me first class everywhere, courtside seats for the season, shopping every day damn near, and I still left. Yeah, because you, you can be her beta provider, but if you're, you're, she needs to be fucked. Um, yeah, whatever. Here's a right winger trying to meme. Here's Eric July. Do I follow Eric July over here? I am following Eric July. Eric says, this is it. This is his greatest tweet of all time. And he's retweeting Elon Musk. Elon says this, I strongly disagree. Forcing your pronouns upon others when they didn't ask and implicitly ostracizing those who don't is neither good nor kind to anyone. As for Fauci, he lied to Congress and funded gain of research, gain of function research that killed millions of people. Not awesome, in my opinion. I wouldn't say that's his greatest tweet. Once again, this is like stating the obvious level shit. And yeah, you know, I I like hold on, I like Eric. Eric's a great guy, as far as I'm concerned, based on what I know of him. Let me follow the rip averse over here. There's a rip averse sale. Oops, that's not what I wanted. But, I mean, this, that's obvious shit. The fact that we live... The fact that this is considered, like, edgy or something. If Fauci did lie to Congress. Everyone who's ever talked to Congress has lied to Congress. Congress lies to us all the time. Fauci didn't fund gain-of-function research. The taxpayers funded gain-of-function research. Fauci just funneled the money to the gain-of-function research. He didn't fund anything. We funded it. And trying to force your pronouns on other people is fucking gay. These, these things are all obvious. This is not the greatest tweet ever. Eric, this is not the greatest tweet ever. Eric, please take Elon Musk's dick out of your mouth. Now, if I could put my mouth somewhere on her, that would be all right. I'd be okay with that. I could do that. <clears throat> what is this? Okay, <clears throat> Brittany Kringer's a man. Here's a picture of her with a shirt. No scars of the breast removed. What? Well, oh, God. Born biologically female and describes her body as athletically lanky. Sure. Whatever. <clears throat> it does kind of look like a man. This is what we're fact checking. This is. <clears throat> Woo, boy. 
All right, that's not a man. Thank goodness. How am I on time? We're probably going to wrap this up pretty soon. This experiment is about to come to a close. Holy fuck, I've been doing this for an hour. Seriously, you guys, this is cutting into my Star Wars time. All right, I'm going to leave you with, with this, and we'll see what the fuck happens from here. You know, with, with this thing I just did as a podcast concept, with the storm outside and the negative 10 degree weather and the 30 mile an hour wind, and with society as a whole. I mean, on that last one, I'm pretty sure we know where it's going. Total collapse. <laughs>